So today's video is not something that I built, but rather something that I bought. I've had this for about a year. It's a Gardena Seleno Minimo robotic lawnmower. It's not something you see very often, at least in this country. And you may not have considered it before, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. The good points, the bad points, what to expect, what it doesn't do. So, before we go too far, I had to give it a name, so I decided to call it Moby Lawn Kenobi. So in case anyone's wondering, no, it does not help deliver plans to a space station. No, it is not my only hope, as I have an electric mower that I've already built. However, it does do some things very well, and that's mow the lawn. Now, one of the biggest downsides to this mower is the installation. And from what I've seen, most of the mowers have the same problem. You basically have to put a wire down all the way around the outside of your lawn. And then you have to run another wire that is a guide wire that runs from one of the farthest points in your lawn and goes through to the base station to help the mower find its way home. Uh, prepare for this to be a good part of a day project. Uh, you have to mow your lawn really short, at least around the edges, so that that wire gets down in there. Otherwise, it's just going to find the wire and chew it up. So, be prepared for that. Uh, they actually recommend the best thing you can do is to dig a small trench. Uh, you might be able to use an edger or something like that, or a shovel, and to actually put it underground. That'll ensure it doesn't get ran over by the mower, because it sometimes will do that. It's not as smart as you might think it would be, but it does work well, which I'll discuss a little bit later. Uh, another thing, it cannot mow. You can't just throw it into an area of overgrown grass and expect it to mow. It uses little tiny razor blades to just kind of chip the grass into little micro bits. So when you're expecting it to mow, it only takes a little bit off of it. It's more of a maintenance item. So once you get it going, it'll keep your lawn maintained and you won't have to really mow again. You'll only have to weed eat. Doesn't take care of that. I wish it did. Another negative to consider is that it is slower. It's going to take a chunk of time for it to cover what's a relatively small area because of the method it uses to mow. It does not mow in a linear path around it like you normally would. It actually goes in a random pattern, pretty much like watching the old Pong game. Uh, that has its pluses and minuses. I'll go into that a little bit later. But the fact of the matter is you could just grab your mower, go out there, and mow it in a fraction of the time of what it will take this to do. However, it does it all itself. It doesn't really require any hands-on. You may have, initially I had some issues with I found a few areas that it would get stuck on. I had to add a little dirt here or there or fix the grass or something like that. So it does take a little bit of finessing. You can't be impatient getting it set up. But once you get it going, it does take care of itself. And I really haven't had to mess with this area lawn in a while. Um, so it's, it's definitely got its perks at the same time. But the fact of the matter is, it is slow. So now, one of its negatives is actually more of a positive. As I mentioned, it does mow in a random pattern. What I've learned from this is that that works to your benefit because grass doesn't always grow straight up and down. Some types of grass grow in more of a swirl pattern. They spread out toward the edges and because of this when I mow with the regular mower I always mow in a path around the lawn. And sometimes I don't get all of them just because of the way the grass lays. Because of this one's random pattern it may not get that patch of grass today. It may not get it tomorrow but eventually because it just keeps doing it over and over and over again it will hit it at the right angle and mow even the most stubborn areas of grass. So that's definitely a plus. It's something I came to appreciate afterwards because I was actually kind of saddened by the concept of a random pattern. I thought that it should have been smarter than that, but it works out better than I expected. So, pluses and minuses there. Now let's talk about some positives. One of the most obvious ones that you notice is it's extremely quiet. I have not lowered the volume of the mowing for this video. This is actually me talking over the mower and it has a, it's not difficult to hear. 
Uh, it is so quiet that a lot of times I've walked out into the yard and not realized the lawnmower was running until I, like, actually see it running around. So it's hard to even describe how quiet it is when it has the lawn mowed. About all you ever hear is if it hits a patch of thick grass, you'll hear it make some noise. Uh, another thing to consider is there's really no raking or anything because you set it to mow almost daily, either daily or every other day. Because of this, you won't get as many weeds in your lawn. You'll see some weeds in mine right now because I left it turned off for a while since I was doing some grass planting in other areas and I needed to get the hose in and out and I didn't want it to run over my hose. But normally speaking, you would not get much of anything for weeds because every time they grow to a point where they can seed, before they reach the point that they can put off their seeds, it just cuts them off. So other than the lowest lying of weeds, it's not going to really have weeds and things like that in your lawn and you won't have to use chemicals to get that result and that was a big plus to me. And some people have wondered if you can mow a lawn that has more than one section. I know that was a big concern for me when I bought it and I didn't know a lot about it but I felt that I could make it work and indeed you can. I have a cement sidewalk in dividing two sections of my front lawn here and that was a concern as to whether it could cross it. First of all, you could just let it cross over the sidewalk and go back and forth. What I actually did is made a path where it, so it only crosses at a specific spot so that when it does, it stays on the other side and doesn't waste a lot of energy crossing back and over a sidewalk that clearly doesn't need mowed. Uh, since my sidewalk was already in, I had to take a cement cutting blade and we cut a track through the cement and just laid the wire in there. If you wanted it to look a little better, I could have siliconed over the top of it, but frankly I didn't care. It's just a little mark in the sidewalk. Uh, I also did the same thing since it was actually going up onto my front porch. I actually cut a track into the porch so that the wires would fit there and it could drive up and down. Uh, these are things you might have to consider on yours. You can't let it cross gravel. They say it's really hard on it, and if the blades hit anything, it's going to tear up the blades. Uh, I did upgrade the blades on this machine. There are some companies that make some that are a little larger. I think it cuts a bit better. I'm not going to go into which one it was and all that, but you can look for yourself. Um, overall, I think these are a great machine. I'd love to see more of them out there. Um, the animals outside don't seem to be bothered by it. Uh, it doesn't use much of any energy. It, overall, it's a, a great machine, and I'm really pleased that I bought it. So I hope if you were considering such a thing that this helps you make an informed choice. Thanks for watching.